Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at lead code problem and the problem's name is check if two string arrays are equivalent. So in this question, we're given two string arrays, words one and word two. We have to return a Boolean value true if the two arrays represent the same string, else we have to return false. A string is represented by an array if the array elements concatenated in order forms the string. So we are given two strings, word one and word two. And we form the word one using concatenation of the strings inside that array in an order. So we go from this order left to right. So first part is AB and you concatenate it with the second string which is C. So this becomes ABC and the word two has two strings A and BC. You concatenate A and then you add BC to it. This will also form ABC as these two are same ABC and ABC we return true as the output. Similarly this will form A C B and this will form A B C since this both are not same we return false as the output. So let's implement the same steps. So you iterate through the words one array and form the word one as this string. You iterate through the words two array and form this string and then you compare these two strings. If these two are same, you return true. If these true are not same, you return false. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name. This is the word one array and this is the word two array. And this is the return type boolean. So you either return true or false as the output. So I'm using string builder to form the string. So SB1 represents the formed word, word one. So we are building sb1 using word1 and we are building sb2 using word2 and then we are converting these two string builders into string and checking if they are equal. I am iterating through the words1 array using the string variable word using a for each loop and then in each iteration I am appending this word inside sb1. So if we are taking the first example this has a, b and c and this has a and b, c. So I'm first appending AB to SB1 and then I'm appending C and I'm building SB1. SB1 has ABC now and then using SB2 uh, building word2. So word2 has first A and then BC will be appended and ABC will be formed. And then I'm converting SB1 into a string and then I'm converting sp2 into a string and then comparing both of them using the equals method if they are same it will return true if this condition is not satisfied it will return false so the time complexity of this approach is o of n where n is the length of the longer string array word1 or word2 and space complexity is o of 1 because I'm not using any external data structure to solve this question so the space complexity is constant that's it guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video